And now that we're off the wind, the boat won't hold the course with the rubber band because of the waves, the waves thrown around too much. If it was a little smoother, or if we were still sailing on the wind. Okay, today is uh, June 18th, day 38. Land ho. Uh, sighted uh, the island of Maui off to windward at uh, 1045 ship's time, that's 745 a.m. local time. And almost the same time I turned and saw the big island of Polo Point uh, just off the starboard bow. I've been looking um, above the clouds for the mountains because you got three mountains, Haleakala on Maui, uh, Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa on the Big Island that are, you know, like 12, 13,000 feet. So you figure you'd be able to see them for quite a ways out. And we were looking above the clouds, and the clouds were pretty thick all around. Ah! Clouds were pretty thick all around yesterday and this morning. And um, we didn't see them. And also, there's usually a distinctive cloud pile over the islands, tell you where the islands are, even if you can't see them. But because of the cloud cover, the general cloud cover, we couldn't spot that either. But what I did see was, this morning, under the clouds, I saw uh, the point of land where Hana sits on the big, on Maui, sticking out. And then I turned around and the, the uh, sea level had cleared and I could see Upolo Point. Uh, sticking out on the big island. So that's how we sighted land this morning. 20 miles out. 20, about, yeah, 20 miles either side, on either side of us, uh, those two points of land. So we altered course to weather Upola Point, and that's why we can't self-steer anymore, because I have to, we're off the wind too much. We're about 60 points off the wind, 60 degrees off the wind making better speed, which is nice. Uh, these conditions are a little bit on the challenging side. This would be nasty stuff up north because it'd be, it's cold. We're getting wet. We get wet at a, every few minutes a wave uh, comes over the dodger or in, to, in through the side of the cockpit between the, the lee cloths or the spray cloths. And, uh, we get wet out here. But it's warm. The water is warm. The water's about 70 degrees or, or more. And the, uh, the air temperature is uh, probably close to 80, I don't know. But and the breeze makes it nice, very pleasant. Uh, later on today, the sun's going to get a little bit oppressive. Got to watch out for the sun. Keep your, what do we got here? SPF 50 sunblock. Use that liberally. We got, what time is it? Yeah, it's 9 a.m. local time noon ship time and uh, we have about I think 30 miles to go to get to uh, Kauai High so we expect to be there late this afternoon and we're making good making a good run right now with just our number three jib up uh, oh sea conditions we have uh, the wind is above 20 knots close to 25 right now uh, and of course it builds through the day so we'll have out here anyway, we'll have 30 to 30, they're predicting 33 knots from the east out here. And uh, wind, or wave action, sorry, <laughs> trying to drive the boat and talk at the same time, it's not easy right now. Um, so anyway, the weather forecast from uh, KB99, NOAA Weather Radio Honolulu, is um, uh, 10 to 13 foot uh, waves swell with uh, three to five foot wind waves on top and uh, trade winds, strong trade winds, uh, 25 to 33 knots out here. So, uh, and that's what we got yesterday, about the same thing. So it's a little bit rough. It's a little rough out here. Uh, but as soon as we round that point, it should smooth out. We'll be uh, the, the north shore of the big island runs east and west, pretty much straight east and west. And as soon as we round to Polo Point, uh, we'll be in the lee of the point there. And so that's what we plan to we plan to start the engine and motor the rest of the way down to Kauai High. Well 
only because we'll be getting out a little bit later and we don't want to stay out. Yeah, it'll be getting later. Well, we don't want, we want to get there before dark. <laughs> We're just and arriving at an awkward time. Otherwise, we'd prefer to just sail in. Yeah. Well, we would prefer to just sail in, but we're arriving at an awkward time, and I'm not sure there's going to be any wind right up next to the island uh, on the other side of Upolu Point. But the Alimuihaha Channel is notorious, uh, especially in uh, strong trade wind conditions, which we have right now, strong trade winds. So It's going to be a long uh, afternoon here, steering, hand steering the boat the rest of the way in. But I think we only got uh, three, four hours to a pull of point. Laura's watch starts in a few minutes. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> this is the famous Ali Nui Ha Ha Channel between the big island of Hawaii and the island of Maui. We have Maui off to Leeward over there, off our starboard side, and a big island behind me. And we're approaching Upolo Point. When we get behind the point, we, sh we should have a lee and be out of this wind. But right now, we just measured it. It's blowing about 26 knots. Uh, the seas have flattened out the big 10 to 13 foot swell that we had before is gone. But we, we do have 5 and 6 foot wind waves. And as you should be able to see, lots of white water. Lots, lots of white water. And a lot of it's coming in the cockpit too. This is fun sailing, though. We've got our number three jib up, the one we've been sailing under for the last, what, week? Yeah. And doing anywhere from five to seven knots. Five to seven knots. Yeah, five to seven. Uh, the wind is, we measured it at 26 knots, or 26 miles per hour just now. It's been, uh, forecast and has been running uh, up to 33 knots. We've measured it up to 30.7, 30.7, we'll call it 31. We've measured it up to 31 across the deck. I don't know what height above the sea they measure the wind at, but you know at masthead height is considerably stronger. But it's an absolutely beautiful day to make our landfall. Uh, we should be snug in harbor tonight. So we're about, what, five, not quite five miles off the we're, point? We're less than five miles off uh, Point Upolo, Upolo Point. And probably 20 miles from Kauai High. Once we get around the point, it's, I think, 15 miles to Kauai High. I mean, this is this is exhilarating and all that, but I, I'll be happy when the when we get in the lee of the point and the wind dies down some. I feel a lot more comfortable. Well, we've Have been it. in huh? 25 knot winds for the last what seven or eight days. Yeah, 25 and more. So I'm just Have getting it. a little old. Have it. I, you know sailed a lot around Hawaii, but I've never sailed this area before. Well, that's not true because when we sailed in from Vancouver on Endeavor, which is a three-masted, full-rigged ship with a crew of 50. Um, we came in this way. And the captain got the old shoebox going 11 plus here in the Ali Nui Haha Channel. This is, this is an area that's famous for broken sticks. You sailors know what I mean when I say broken sticks. That's what this place is famous for. can't be accused of carrying too much canvas today. Always the prudent mariner. I wouldn't dream of putting up more sail than we've got right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, I think I'm going to put the camera away. Yeah, I think you got to put that one away and get out the GoPro if you want to continue to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> 